But that feeling of being, like, on set, it was, like, the best feeling ever. <laughs> like, wow, I get to make a attack for a living. This is amazing. When we rented that mansion in Chief, that was great. I wasn't really renting it, but it was great. But we had it for the day. Sorry. Sis Free is calling. No, I'm just looking up at steering wheels on Amazon. So you pulled over and looked at stop now. <laughs> Talking about I'm not even on it. Yeah, I mean, you're on last man and stop now. <laughs> oh, couldn't hear me for some reason. She was, I think she was just asking me if I'm coming over today. So it depends on how far I get into the game, I guess. I probably won't, to be honest, because I don't want to come home and then just like, bed, work, you know? I want to have some sort of relaxation for the weekend. But while it was fun yesterday, it did drain my energy at least a little bit. This morning I was just like... Ugh. That's how I feel right now. Sounds of my sister before she murders me. Oh, I'm not scared. <laughs> cool. So, what is this? An authorization device piled by energy. If you like the clearance, then you can't access higher floors. Hold on a second, I should have authorization. So basically her way of saying, you never would have got this far without me. Nice. <laughs> the stairs coming out of nowhere. So look, a path. Really? <laughs> no, actually they're stairs. Alright, let's go. Okay, so you can actually break the ice with just hitting it. It's interesting. Use another player. Oh, the chest. To rotate somewhere. Yeah. Ah, let's go down. Oh, something's there. Right 
chest. At least we're getting all the ores we need to upgrade our weapons to the max level. You won't. Oh yeah, and also in early November, hopefully, I'm going to be playing um, the expansion for uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. It's called The Frozen Waste. So, Mifri.com will look more and more awesome the more of these games I add on to it. Like, I've done Hellblade, I've done Ye7, I've done so many other games. Did Last of Us. Did I, I don't even know if I added Last of Us to Mitri.com. Can someone check? So that first video, the one that's got like 30,000 views is still blocked because of that idiot who copyright flagged it. I disputed it and they, they haven't reviewed my dispute. Oh, what game were you looking for? Last of Us. You have it on there, it's complete. Cool. Nice. If I do eventually play Last of Us again on stream, then I will do it like the other ones where I'll just split it into like 30 separate videos rather than big videos like I did on YouTube. If I play it again. It's a big if. Okay, we're almost at the top now. I'm going to assume that there's another boss at the top of this tower. Check the other side of this floor as well, just in case there's a um, treasure chest. I just hope Maria is okay. Found out yesterday that her dad died ages ago, and a, another guy that she considers her second dad almost helped, like helped her to get over it, sort of thing. And he died. So, she is just like a complete mess at the moment. Ooh, a Barbaric bracelet. So, poor Maria. Hopefully she'll feel better soon. Okay, there we go. Okay, so, yep, let's go up this lift. Magical lift. That's got no strings or nothing. Let's go. Oh. What's this dragon guy? Of course. So Carvalos.
steel. Let's do it. You can still go! Ridiculous fight, as you can see from the game. Oh, crap. One more kill of the orb. Heal up. This is nowhere near as bad as Neo. Oh, like every fight was harder than this. Yeah. He's a good series to get into. I believe so. Yeah. But I've only played these Origins and this one, so I, I can't say I've got like much history of it. But he's um, is this he's eight? It's it's really good. I've been having tons of fun with it. So this is, yeah, he's a uh, La Lacrimosa of Dana. If you get the day one edition on Play PlayStation 4, you also get the soundtrack as a CD inside the box. Oh, nice one. And you can, you can hear that the soundtrack is really good. And they are... It's, it's like set in the same universe or the same world, but it's they are basically very, very different. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get more history. Looks like we're at the top of the tower. What's that slate over there? Where's the information about Okanus? Doesn't look like it's written on the board. No, that's what we're looking for. That's a monolith that can record and deliver information. The information about Okana should be stored on there too. How do we check the information? If you provide some energy, the information that you want should appear. By the way, I think Dana was using something similar in the past too. I can't believe this existed in the same era as ancient species. It's so ridiculous, I'm not even surprised anymore. I want a monolith. Um, I could study a lot. Uh, you're such a hard worker. There used to be some that were portable back then, but on, sorry, but the one here is very large and it might be difficult to take home. Oh, uh, that's too bad. About the monoliths, it seems like most of them were destroyed. Yes, let me check if any of them still work. Okay. I'm gonna start with this one. So this monolith looks like it's broken, okay. Monolith. 
So what are we gonna learn from this monolith? Did it move? Yes, it worked. It's like, oh that big beast in the sea, if you kill it, it dies. I see. So this is how it looks. It's slightly broken and unstable, but I think this will do it. The topics are dragon species, marine and okeanos. It's convenient. There it is! What does it say? Okay, hold on. Um, okeanos. A dragon species with a bad temper. They attack anything that enters their habitat, even ships. If their habitat is along a shipping route, you have to defeat them, but doing so is difficult. They travel very quickly underwater, and it's nearly impossible to capture them. But they build nests within their habitat, and return there periodically to rest. Cool. So they have a nest? Oh. The best opportunity to attack them is while they're resting in their nests. Interesting. But how are we supposed to attack them underwater? To defeat an Okeanos, First, you have to find its nest and wait until it returns. Okay. I see. As long as we can find its nest, we have a chance. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like we have some hope! The problem is, where is its nest? Unfortunately, it doesn't list where it is. If it has a habitat, then that must mean that they each have their own nest. Looks like we have to find the nest of the Okeanos that sank the Lombardia on her own. Hmm, this isn't working. Let's see. What information is being projected now? This is information about the Great Tree of Beginnings. The Great Tree of Beginnings. Is that the giant tree that was at the temple where you were? It seems to be a symbol of some faith, but I wonder what its origin is. Who knows? Now that I think about it, I haven't explained it yet. The Great Tree of Beginnings is a being that grants evolution to anything that lives. Huh? Speaking of evolution... I've heard that word somewhere before. Sister Lexi explained it! Wasn't it when living organisms keep changing over a long time? Yes, and that process is managed by our great tree of beginnings which we protect. Previous maidens have given prayers to the great tree and received its benefits. We Eternians were dragon species, but evolved out of those benefits. Hey, Interesting. Wait. Aren't dragon species the same as ancient species? So she's saying that the Eternians evolved out of dinosaurs? Your ancestors were ancient species? Yes, that's actually true. That's why Eternians are so big and strong. So that's the reason. It's not surprising. We humans also evolved and look like we do now. Really? <sighs> A record in the sanctuary showed the Light King receiving energy from the Great Tree. That was probably a metaphor for the benefits of evolution as well. The people of Eternia awakened to wisdom and discovered the power of energy. That's probably what it means. not working. It seems like it's completely destroyed. Oh, they, it's destroyed, but at least they got the information they wanted Aww. out of it. How unfortunate. A second. Cute. By the way, guys, Jimmy's at 150 HP. I'm surprised no one killed but him off. We were able to gain some useful information. 
Yes, it feels like we're one step closer to defeating Okeanos. Let's go back to the village first and make a plan. Cute. Okay. So let's quickly check the other monolith. So we got Ancient Tilted Tower Trophy. Okay. What's this glow? Nothing. Okay. Whatever. So we got to the top of the tower. That's all we really cared about. Uh, we still need one more person though to get this egg delivery. Let's go back to the village. Oh god, the fog. What's happening now? Is the ghost after us? It's super white. Is this fog? Yes, and a strange fog at that. It feels almost like it's grabbing our bodies. Yeah, it does feel off. Hey, look at the sea. Look at the sea. I can see it. Where? I want to see too! What's with everyone? Sounds like something happened. Let's check it out, Adol. At least she changed her mind from saying Adol to Adol Kristen, whatever is, you know, before. How about Aaron? Do you see the ship? Unfortunately, I did. I wish I was mistaken, but this isn't the case. Rad. Ursula. Sorry, you're too, too late, Joshua. <laughs> Ursula beat you to it. So now Ursula is the bit boss. So I wish I was mistaken, but that isn't the case. Adol, you're back. Perfect timing. There's something I would like for you to check out. Hey, Oren. Adol's back, so how about you show him that thing? You should hurry over here then. I'll explain later, just climb the lookout tower, okay? Okay. So we haven't done that quest for Hummel yet, have we? Climb up, yes. What does it look like? Can you see it? moving ridiculously fast. Keep that up and go a little to the east, Adol. Oh, cool. It's a ghost ship. I'll assume that the ghost ship is, like is not affected by the Kraken. <laughs> so that's the ghost ship everyone has been talking about. So even Maxi and the others were taken aback when they saw the ghost ship. The sightings were mere rumours before, but it had started to appear in the ocean, clear as day over the past few days. Meanwhile, Dogi and the others were informed about what Adol's group learned about the Okanus. While joyous news, they still had to figure out where Okanus was hiding. How would they find something in the ocean? How would they defeat it? After everyone was caught up to speed, their conversations went in a circle. They decided to instead discuss how best to handle the ghost ship. But hey, old man Thanatos, want to run that by me again? I said we might be able to use the ghost ship to escape. You heard me the first time. Um. It's a very bold idea, as expected of you, Thanatos. Oh, it's about our survival. There's no time to shrink away in terror. You're right, we might be able to use it as our ship, sparing us having to build our own. Ghost ship, I want to ride on it. I'm also intrigued. Are you serious? But before you get ahead of yourselves, 
Do we know that it will operate like a ship? It seems functional, but it's surrounded by an eerie light. Either way, it's worth investigating. What do you say, Adol? Do you want to check out the creepy ship? Sure. You really have to ask? Yes, as reliable as ever. Okanos is a concern, but we do have enough inform useful information quite yet. So I don't have enough information quite yet. Guess it's a more efficient use of our time to do this first. Sheesh. How do we go about investigating a ghost ship? We have no idea when it appears. About that, for the past few days that ship has been vanishing behind the southeastern cape. That's even cape, what's over there? Correct me if I'm wrong, but we haven't explored that side of the cape yet. Maybe worth looking into. Right. It looks like it's decided then. We'll head out when the sun rises. Cool. Oh. Event points are for the southeastern part of the island have been added to the map. Nice. Epic source. Ah, doll. About Alison, it seems her condition isn't very good. Lich uh, checked her and said that she's going into premature labor. I think Alison is very worried. Yeah, I'm worried too. I hope there's a way to relieve her worry somehow. Do you know any? Let's hurry up and find a husband. Maybe prepare a favorite dish. Ursula, what would help you if you went into premature labor? Food as or your husband? To, <laughs> as to what? Stopping it or yeah. making it go? Yeah. Um, actually, uh, it doesn't stop. Fair enough. It, it won't. Uh, if you have your husband, it actually activates it. Okay. <laughs> because it, 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 it develops a, a hormone that actually activates labor. Wow. That's what I used to do to get my uh, contractions to uh, level off is, well, I don't want to say, but yeah, it, it, it helped level my contractions wow. so they weren't erratic. Cool. So maybe one day I'll be the disappointing husband. Yep. <laughs> Mifri, you eating candy? Yeah, I'm having... Smarties. He ate a wrap before that, so he's good. And boiled eggs. There you go. Okay, then he can have candy. Yeah. So if we can do that, then I'm do it definitely sure that will make her feel better. But let's think of something that's more practical right now. Then what about flowers? Seeing as smelling her favorite flowers should help cheer her up. So I remember her telling me something before. The village that Allison comes from had a beautiful flower garden, and the purple belt flowers filled up the entire garden. It sounded like it was a memorable place for her husband too, but it's a rare flower that's exclusive to Greek, so... Purple belt flowers, as the name suggests, it's a purple flower in the shape of a bell. No oh shit, Sherlock. So, do you know the flower, Sister Dana? Yeah, I saw it during the Eternia era. There weren't many at the time, but I don't know about this era. It might be possible that they're still around somewhere. I'll make a great gift. Uh, yes, from what we've come up with, that's the best idea. Then it's decided. Let's try to find some right away. Nice. What do you think of this game? I'm, I'm having tons of fun with it, dude. It's really, really fun. In fact, I need to save. So Quest Homeland Flower has been added to the quest log. Well, let me save, because I haven't saved all day. So save. Save. How many hours have I played this game? Does it, does it actually say? 27 hours and 4 minutes. Wow. Can you believe it? Anyway, let's mix what do you need? potions. Please, take this. 
Oh, please please take care. I should have got some of those moon tears. Never mind. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, see if there's any more quests. Short. Oh, crap. Okay. So we have to finish the Puff of Flower soon. So, Puff of Flower, Puff of Flower. Where is it? I see egg delivery, but we can't go in there because of the fact we're one person short. Homeland Flower. So we have to go, it seems, this way. The question is, how do I get there? Hmm. So shall I just go then? I think I should just go. I need to go there for two reasons. One for the story and two to save Allison. I'm playing Total War Warhammer 2. Nice. How is it? I was curious about that game. What type of game is it, by the way? Is it an RTS? Okay, so she's the one that has to go against the birds. I'm assuming there's going to be some, some sort of blockage. One game I need to go back and actually play is uh, Gravity Rush 2. When I finished the first Gravity Rush, I played Gravity Rush 2 for like 4 hours and then I stopped the game. We can add that game to the list. I don't know if this is the right way though. Let's, let's explore down before we go up. Game it really enjoy it. They made a lot of quality of life for it. It's already dead. It's funny that she's still attacking it even though it died ages ago. Okay. So obviously now we can double jump over this thing, but Let's explore this half first. Okay, check. Oh. Nice. By the way, I saw that first episode of um, Hell's Kitchen. Nice. I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I really am excited this season. Are any of you um, in the chat Hell's Kitchen fans?
do any fishing along this bay. The treasure chest right there. Right, so are we now 100%ed on this area? No. Two more harvests. Okay, so we need two more harvests in this area. Then we're 100%ed. Don't need fishing. Oh, there's fishing here. There we go, perfect. I like how you can see Castaway Village, like, over the horizon there. Oh, wow. That's a big fish. Swordfish. Two more harvest points. Palette on this. Where's the insect repeller? Where's that at the bottom? Where is
Cool. So we have a new place discovered. The ship graveyard. Rip. Oh, what a beautiful view. I mean, I wouldn't exactly consider it a beautiful view, but whatever. We are progressing on nicely. I'm assuming uh, Allison's husband is going to be the 18th person we need to remove that tower so we can get the egg delivery quest done. Before we do that, Assume that there's a chest over here or something. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Okay. So let's see what's here if we destroy. Okay. Yes. Right. Up this hill. Cool. Okay, there are the purple flowers for Allison. What a beautiful flower, I've never seen this kind before. Purple and bell shaped, could it be? Yes, this is the purple bell flower. Well, I'm glad you found it. Here we go. Someone's here. You are... Ah, I finally found other survivors. Are you all from Lombardia too? I don't briefly explain the situation and told him about Castaway Village. I see, so everyone's sticking together. Is Allison there as well? Well, if you know that name, then... Do you know Allison? Is she safe? Is she feeling okay? Whoa, calm down. Yes, what did you say your name was? Uh, I'm sorry. I haven't introduced myself yet. Ed. Okay. My name is Ed. I'm Allison's husband. And I'm also a tailor. There he is. Can you please take me to my wife? Yep. Why not? So that's how Adol met Ed. Adol explained Allison's situation, and after picking purple bell flowers, they returned to the village. Nice. Allison, I'm so sorry that I made you worry. I was doing my best to find you, but... So we have our 18th person, so we can... Finish the delivery egg quest as well. Ed washed up on the east side of the island. There weren't many vicious beasts in this area, so he couldn't move freely. <clears throat> I'm glad that you're okay. I'm really, really glad. Allison. Oh yeah, Allison, I actually found purple bell flowers on this island. I wanted you to see them, so I was staying in the area that were growing. But thanks to that, Adol and the others were able to find me. I placed some by the table, and I'll bring you them later. Allison. I'm just happy that you really are here with me. You're always doing your best for me. I'm so thankful. No, I haven't done anything. Allison? Is a baby going to pop out? Ugh. Oh, I feel that freaking easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's time. So after seeing her husband's face, Allison's condition changed. It was ahead of schedule, but she had to deliver the baby. A few hours later... Oh... 
is a baby. Sorry, did I ruin the moment? Congratulations, it's a happy boy. He is our... How lovely. Alison, you did great. You did just great. Oh, honey. You're crying even more than the baby. That was his condition, Doctor. It was a premature birth, so he's a little underway, but he doesn't seem to have any health problems. I'm very surprised. It must be a miracle. Thank you very much. I couldn't have done it without you guys. Oh, we didn't do anything. Well, it's a happy ending. By the way, can he be my little brother? Well, of course. Yay, now I'm a big sister. Sorry, it's an emergency. The beasts are here, for goodness sake. Man, those guys are always picked the worst possible time. It looks like they deserve some cruel and unusual punishment. But that's against the Constitution. Please stay with Allison, Dr. Lear and Ed. Okay, I will. So this is a raid battle. No, please let me join. I want to protect my wife and kids with my own hands. Huh. Yes, please help us. Thank you. I'll do my best to not slow you guys down. Yes. Great job. Cool. So there's an interception. So let's get it done. Quickly heal up. Okay. There's only egg delivery and we have to get to the eroded valley, but I don't think we've got there yet. Okay, where is Doki? What's next? Please take this. Please take care. Oh wow, look. So they are making some nice progress on the boat. Okay, anyway, let's talk to him. Let's begin the interception. Right, if you're prepared, then stand by at your position. Good to go. So, witty assault. Groups of beasts ambushed us. They are led by a few tough beasts, but they can be beat. Cool. I recommended level 46. Oh, fuck was that? that was awful loud. <laughs>
By the way, guys, when does um, Xenoblade Chronicles come out on Switch? December 1st. I got the trophy distant exploration. Like that. Attack anyway. The way three is complete, but all the barricades are just ripped.
See about if, how many upgrades I can get. So I got the trophy Elegant Interception. How can I help you today? Leave it to me. That's All right, nice. finished. I'll get started. Complete. I'll get started. All right, finished. Oh, I need five beast All bones. Right. How can I help you today? Right. Too hard to get How on. can I help you today? All right. Let's get five beast bones. Now I can finish all the upgrades. Coin. 